Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. <coughs> this series is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial we'll be looking at polar quiver plots. Now this is actually a complementary plot to st polar stream plots. So if we instead of wanting the streamlines you just want uh, a figure with all the arrows pointing at the vector fields then quiver plots are very useful and this is very p convenient if you have some kind of a f uh, some kind of a f flow velocities or some vectors and you want to know the directions of them in a polar f polar coordinate. So just to give you an example, this is how a uh, polar quiver plot looks like. You have a polar coordinate, you have a polar coordinate system, and you have some vectors, and this will give us the directions of these vectors at different locations, like such as this one. And they are actually there's a lot of space in the radial direction. That's because of the kind of way we use the uh, define the radius, but that's not a big deal. We'll actually talk about this later. Okay, so <coughs> I'm just using the same example that we did last time. Last time, so I set up the radius ma radius limits over here, theta limits over here, number of points, uh, number of points uh, in in dom in domain along uh, r theta direction. So it's r theta the direction so I get the values of radius and theta over here I set the grid values and as usual I mean just like the previous uh, video you have to set the grid values um, grid we have to get the grid coordinates with theta first and then the radius next the radius next and then you calculate the I mean you set up the velocities let's say the flow velocities are for just for convenience and I'm going to keep it as one and one one and one and uh, let the resultant velocity resultant velocity be this one so since v is actually has no dimension i'm going to multiply the square radius to give it the uh, same dimension as that of u and i'm using the pythagoras theorem over here to get the resultant velocity and uh, for uh, for quiver plots you need what you call as a slice interval that's because if you don't have any slice you, you don't have any uh, you don't skip anything but you if you take each and every point into consideration while drawing them the arrows are much sm arrows are much smaller if you want the arrows to be slightly bigger you just have to increase the slice interval um, I'll talk about this and I'll talk about this in a second so if I just uh, go along and here I just calculate the convert the velocities u and v into its equivalent uh, Cartesian qu Cartesian velocities x and y. So if I if you just try to plot this with uh, if you just try to plot this with an actual, I mean with a normal uh, in the normal way, this won't work actually. So I've been trying that it w it didn't work. So you just have to convert them into an equivalent uh, Cartesian Cartesian coordinate velocity, and that's that is that is this. So the x vel the velocity in x direction is actually the radial velocity times the cos theta minus the tangential velocity times sine theta, and you don't have to take into the radius here. You don't have to take the radius into consideration here. Similarly, the velocity along y, y axis is actually the Cartesian I mean the radial velocity times sine theta plus the tangential velocity times the cos theta. Okay, and uh, this is the main line where we are going to draw the quiver. So you write axis one. Uh, ax1 dot quiver and then you specify the theta theta so the, the I mean the, the, you have to specify the tangential coordinate the radius coordinate and then you specify the uh, specify the radial velocity I mean the x velocity and then the y velocity and uh, over here just like the regular standard quiver plot you have the units to change the to set the length uh, aspect you have the angles angles parameter to set the angle bit angle you can use xy or uv uv and then you can set the scale to be scale to be a number the larger the scale the smaller the quiver the smaller the arrows are so if you were to get a, get a proper quiver plot i would actually recommend you to do a little bit of trial and error and then choose them like try and error with the scale and then the skip and pick one that is actually convenient for convenient for you okay so adjust the scale and I'll, okay, I'll mention this over here. Uh, general tip: adjust uh, slice interval, slice interval, and uh, scale to get the uh, best square plot. Okay, and uh, the pivot option over here mentions how the where the 
arrows have to turn if i put pivot equals middle they're going to turn at the middle and you can also have the option to put turn it make it turn at the tip of it and you can make it turn at the tail of it that's also possible and this color option may it just gives you to make the, to specify the color of this uh, color of these arrows and at the bottom uh, these are just the, the usual ones the radius limits radius limits and the ticks for the radius the ra uh, radius label positions and then the angle ticks angle ticks and over here i specify the grid i specify the quiver key for this i need to take this quiver uh, handle out of this uh, plot if i take this qu object quiver object over here i can directly put this in quiver, quiver key and i can specify the x and y quad and the coordinates where i have to specify where i want the quiver key to happen and i specify a magnitude and i specify a label over here saying what does this magnitude mean in the figure and here i can set the label color of the label color of the quiver key and i set this to blue and uh, if they if I, and uh, if when i put n over here for the label pass or label position the number uh, the i mean with respect to the arrow the num the label will be written uh, to the north of the arrow if i put it, if i put this to be uh, yes it will be it will be at the south of this arrow and i put this to coordinates there's other option called as figure 2 you have like multiple options over here you can just play around with it this will be more than sufficient for many of the plots that we might have you might have to get do with so and as usual there is no title there's no legend for the uh, river plot so if i run this one over here this is how i get i just this is how i get since i put this to be in blue i get a nice blue uh, quiver plot over here the reason why there are a lot of spaces over here is because we the broke we broke this figure uh, such a uh, in, li in linearly i mean the number of points that were that we defined were actually linear uh, over here so if we have more number of points in the along the tangential direction as we go towards the ex extrema uh, as we go towards the extrema the more number of points will we get more number of points will we get in the over here but this is just an illustration so it's okay so if you want to have uh, more arrows in these white spaces over here uh, you just as you go out to the towards the outer make sure that you have multiple uh, breaks multiple br uh, more number of points uh, along the along the tangent direction that is actually comes by having theta by considering by taking into consideration theta anyway proceeding on, proceeding on this this will work and you can actually set a color map for this too so for this you have to uncomment this color option and you have to uh, include this ve velocity option maybe velo now based on these velocity uh, the colors according to colors will be chosen uh, i'm going to use the pri the usual standard jet color over here jet in the rainbow th theme and if i run this if i run this based on my color scheme based on me based on my color map the arrows will be colored accordingly the low velocity arrows will be colored uh, at the lower end of the color map and the high velocity arrows will be colored with the higher end of the color map as we saw as we see over here and in these kind of cases it's always better to have a legend so the, i mean not legend a color bar so once you have this uh, quiver object available it, what you do is just a pld or color bar and inside that just pass this quiver and uh, when you run this there we go you not only have a like, quiver key you also have a color uh, you also have a color bar through which you can map what these velocities are the magnitudes of these velocities are and of course if you do a little bit of a tweak and of course you can do a little bit of tweaking there you can also increase the arrow size depending upon the size of the uh, velocities that's also that's also available that's also possible now uh, that will be for that i guess you can actually go, go on or figure it out yourself hopefully uh, for but for most practical purposes this would be this kind this setup would be more than sufficient to uh, pl um, make a quiver plot as a quiver plot all right so that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching i will see you all next time in another interesting video till then take care